Did you miss your deadline to renew your Medicaid coverage? You can still send your completed annual review form to Healthy Connections Medicaid. You may be assigned to another health plan, but you can ask to come back to First Choice within 60 days of renewed Medicaid eligibility. It's your family. It's your choice. First Choice is the right choice. Renew and choose us. Visit selecthealthofsc.com slash renew to learn more. What's the easiest choice you can make? Window instead of middle seat? Picking a vendor who sends a great gift basket? Outsourcing business tasks you hate? What about selling with Shopify? Whether you're selling a little or a lot, Shopify helps you do your thing, however you cha-ching. Shopify is the global commerce platform that helps you sell at every stage of your business. From the launch your online shop stage to the first real-life store stage, all the way to the did we just hit a million orders stage? Shopify is there to help you grow. Whether you're selling scented soap or offering outdoor outfits, Shopify helps you sell. Wherever and whatever you're selling, Shopify's got you covered. Sign up for a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash try. Go to shopify.com slash try now to grow your business, no matter what stage you're in. Shopify.com slash try. The Couple Next Door, written by Peg Lynch and starring Peg Lynch and Alan Bunce. Stand still, stand still. Now, Betsy, let Mommy get the Band-Aid on. Oh, of course it hurts, honey, there. Now it'll feel better in no time. Hmm? a cookie, please? Yes, of course. Pick out the one you want, Dan, the box. Oh, there's Daddy. What's he doing home so early? Hi. You're doing home so early. Ah, uh, you know, with New Year's Eve coming on, nobody felt like doing any work, so we closed early. Oh. Hey, what's the matter with my girl? It makes me so mad that Mary Lou Kendall pushed her down and took her sled away from her. Betsy hit her head. Huh? There, there, darling. Look at the bump on her forehead. Well, now, honey, it's not too bad. Now, don't coddle her. It's just a little bump. Little bump? Look at it. Well, it is nothing, really. That it feels better already, doesn't it? No. <laughs> oh, now, come on. Come on, your daddy's brave girl. Mary huh? Lou pushed me down, and she kicked me. Kicked you? Yes, and she pinched me, too. Did you hear that? Did you hear yes, that? Yes, and I suspect somebody's getting too much sympathy. <laughs> She's going to make a very good story out of it. Well, I believe it. Those Kendall kids are just awful. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. They... Betsy, what? now Mary Lou didn't just kick you and push you down for no reason, did she? What did you do, huh? Nothing. We were playing with the sled, and it was my turn, and she wouldn't let me have it. There, you see? Those Kendall children come up here all the time and take Betsy's thing. Really, they've just been troublemakers in this whole neighborhood ever since they moved in a month ago. I think you ought to say something. Say something to who? To that Mr. Kendall. Well, don't love him, Mike. What would I say to him? His daughter is a head taller than Betsy, and she just bullies her. Now, honey, let kids fight their own battles. Well, you're Betsy's father. You're supposed to be her protector. Honey, children always have their differences, and Betsy's got to learn to get along with people. Everybody has his faults, but you have to get along with your neighbor. And you remember that, Betsy. Huh? Lots of times people do things you don't like, but you have to look for the things about them you do like, because we have to love our neighbors, don't we? Do you have to love them even if you don't like them? Well, yes, honey. Yeah, uh-huh. And, and you remember that. Yes, Daddy. Uh, can you get that, dear? I've uh, got to get dinner in the oven. I didn't expect you home so early, and we're having a roll. Yeah, all right, all right. Hello. Yet? Oh, yes, Mrs. Kendall. <laughs> well, I guess the children did have a little fuss, but... <laughs> well, now, just a minute... I beg to differ with you, but it so happened that it was Betsy's turn on the sled, and Mary Lou just pushed her down. And my daughter's got a terrible bump on her head and just missed her eye by a fraction. Dear, if it's the oil burner, Maddie, and come Thursday, I'll be home. Now, look here, Mrs. Day. Kendall. Are you implying that my child does not tell the truth? Well, let me tell you something about your children. I... I... Yes, j- just put him on the phone. Just just put him on the phone. I'll be glad to talk to him. It's the oil burner man, dear. It is not come the come oil on. burner man. Kendall. Mrs. Kendall accused Betsy of not telling the truth. Oh, I'm going to talk to him. Well, I certainly... Hello. Should... Hello, Kendall. That's right. Certainly, I believe, my own child. Mary Lou threw a big rock at Betsy one day, too. You might get that in. Now, look here, Kendall. Considering the fact that it was my daughter's sled to begin with, it seems to me... It... Roughneck! Who's a roughneck? 
That's it. Now, look here, Kendall. For a man whose kids are known around the entire neighborhood as troublemakers, it seems to me that... Yes, I'll repeat that. Troublemakers. Okay. I certainly would repeat it in person, by all means. Betsy? Oh, dear. No. Betsy? Yes? Come here. Here, come here. Now, look. Now, you answer your father truthfully. Is it true that Mary Lou deliberately pushed you down and took your sled when it was your turn? Yes, she did, All right, Daddy. all right. That's all Daddy wants to know. Thank you. Now, go on. Run outside and play. Go on. No. Go on. Do as Daddy says, dear. Your things in the kitchen and put a sweater on, too. It's not cold. Put your sweater on. Oh, honestly. Now, dear, don't get too excited. Remember, you did say kids should fight their own battles and maybe... Look, she's only six years old. She's just a baby. If I don't stand up for her, who will? Yes, dear. Now, look, you better go and get dinner. I'll handle this situation. He's coming right over. And she's with him. Okay, 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 okay. Now, don't lose your temper. No, no. You never can think of anything to say when you lose your temper. Listen, if he wants to start something, he's I'm... bigger than you are. He's at least six foot Listen, three. Listen, I don't care. He is? He looks it. Now, look, I've got no intention of fighting. I'm just going to be very calm and dignified. Uh -huh. They want to be unpleasant and nasty. Listen, mm -hmm. we don't have to stoop no, down. No, 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 no. Like no. I... <clears throat> I'll get it. I'll get it, dear. Good evening, Kendall. Mrs. Kendall. Evening. Good evening. Hello. Hello. Evening. Won't you sit down? No, thank you. No, thank you. Fred? Yes. Now, you were saying something on the phone about our children being neighborhood troublemakers, I believe. Well, Mr. Kendall, I think we ought to start at the beginning. I would be I... glad to start at the beginning. I would like to know why every time Mary Lou comes over here to play with your daughter, she comes home crying. Isn't that right, Fred? That's right, Eleanor. Before we go any further, it should be made clear that it was Mary Lou who not only kicked Betsy, but pushed her down. My child never has any trouble playing with other children, Mrs. Kendall. My Mary Lou has always gotten along beautifully with all her little playmates. The point is, Mrs. Kendall, it was Betsy's slam. And it was Betsy's turn to have it. Well, I don't think that has anything to do with it. It has everything to do with it. You can't expect to have a discussion of a subject unless you get right down to the basic problem. You've got to have a logical premise. And if I may say so, you're a fine one to talk about logical premise. The way you've been shouting in the businessmen's club to widen the main street. I think the main street ought to be widened. Our traffic What's it going to do to my business? I'm just getting started here with a new store. Fine thing to have the street torn up for six months. We're supposed to be discussing the children, I believe. The point is, Mrs. Kendall, it was her turn to have it, and it seems to me... It seems to me that since Betsy's been down to our house millions of times, and Mary Lou's always willing to share her things... Millions of times is, I believe, a slight exaggeration, Mrs. Kendall. Dear. Well, why say millions of times? Betsy's only six years old. She certainly hasn't been galloping down to the Kendalls 10,000 times a day. Well, she's certainly there a good deal of the time, and not once when she's left has she ever said... Thank you, Mrs. Kendall. I had a lovely time. Well, maybe she didn't. <laughs> Dear. <laughs> oh, well, I, I'm just joking, after all. I think perhaps we're making a mountain out of a molehill here. As I said to my wife, really, kids ought to fight their own battles, you know? I spend hours teaching my children to have nice manners. Then when they see Betsy acting the way she does... What do you mean, acting the way she does? An only child is inclined to be, um, well, shall we say a little spoiled? Spoiled? <laughs> spoiled? Well, I dislike saying this, but after all, when your children are known in the whole neighborhood for being troublemakers... Now, just a minute! Everyone says so, Mr. Kendall, and I certainly think it starts trouble when your daughter refuses to let Betsy have her own sled when it was her turn to slide. We teach and our it's... children to share things. That's right. We believe in sharing things. Obviously you do. I believe you're still sharing my ladder you borrowed a month ago. Come on, Eleanor. You'll have your ladder back in ten minutes. Thank you. Just put it in the garage. Oh, oh dear. Wait, wait. I will I see did... to it that Mary Lou does not come up here to play anymore and take your daughter's things. We'll see to it that Betsy isn't down there millions of times. Come either. on, Eleanor. Terrible. Look, really there are certain that people that you just... Take what's happened. Oh, Mrs. Kendall's lying in the snow. Oh, what? Oh, oh, oh. What happened? Why don't you shovel off your pork stack? They are shoveled. I got ashes on them. Oh, dear, Mrs. Kendall, are you all right? Just don't speak to me, please. Come along, Eleanor. Oh. All right, all right, all right. Now, get in the house. Here, get in the house before Ralph, you catch cold. You think she's hurt? Certainly she's not hurt. Look at her. She's prancing off down the sidewalk. She's just mad. I don't see why she's so mad. The whole neighborhood complains about the way the Kendall kids act. Their son broke the Johnson's garage window. He beat up the Davis twins. Ah, like he, father, he... like son. They just take after their parents, I guess. Some people just ask for trouble. Mm, makes you wonder, though. Is our child spoiled? Mm, I suppose a little. What kid mm. isn't? But she's certainly not a roughneck. No. Seems to me she's got pretty good manners yes, for a six-year-old. Mm. I hope so. But you never know how they act when you're not with them. 
I think it's terrible she's never thanked Mrs. Kendall for being there. Oh, look, that's what Mrs. Kendall said. Does her child say it to you every time she's been up here? Well, no, not every time, but she has said it. I'll admit that. How do you like what I said when he said he believed in sharing things? And I said, obviously you do. You're still sharing my ladder. <laughs> uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Obviously you do, yeah, I said. Yeah, I, I heard you. You know, I suddenly remembered it, and you know, that he still had it. Mm, dear, the whole thing was so unpleasant. <laughs> Look, we can live without the candles. Now forget it, and get me some dinner, will you, sweetheart? Is this tonight's paper? Mm-hmm, I think so. Oh, what is she into? Betsy, what are you into out there? Come here, dear. Well, I wanted to get two cookies for us. Well, you can't have cookies right now. It's too close to dinner time. You do for us? Who's us? Mary Lou. Mary Lou? Are you playing with Mary Lou? Uh-huh. I thought you didn't like her anymore. Yes, I like Mary Lou. She's my best friend. Thought you two had a fight. No. Oh, I guess so. I forgot. That was a long time ago, Daddy. Long? It isn't even an hour. Well, never mind. You can play outside until dinner time. Run along, dear. <laughs> Jenny, how do you like that? <laughs> They're friends again, and now we're not even speaking to the parents. <laughs> well, that's children. Maybe we ought to take a lesson from them, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Honey, why don't you call the Kendalls up and apologize? Apologize? I mean, tell them what's happened, you know, and we'll make a little joke of it. You know, look at the funny side of it. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Still, you know, I don't really like that guy very much. No. Well, look, we're, we're living in the same neighborhood, and it's awfully hard on you not to be on speaking terms with somebody. You've got to remember all the time you're mad at them so you don't forget and say, hello, you know. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'll give Kendall a call. And you don't need to bother calling. There he comes, lugging your ladder. Put on a coat, dear. No, no, I'm okay. I'm what? not cold. I look. All right, all right, all right. Bad as bad. He's headed for the garage. Kendall, uh, Fred. Uh, Fred, l- l- listen, I, I, I figure we ought to start the new year right, you know. <laughs> what I mean is, our kids seem to have made up. Seems kind of silly for us to go on with something that we've we just <laughs> called the doctor. What? Mary Lou, what are you doing here? Now come on home. My wife seems to have injured her ankle on your icy front steps. Oh, I'm sorry. I, and I just hope you carry liability insurance. Good day. And you come on home, Mary. Come on. Your mother's just had an accident. What, 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 that, oh, that, what's the matter, uh, Daddy? Can't you learn to get along with your playmates? I get along with Mary Lou, all right. Can't you get along with Mr. Kendall, Daddy? Get in the house. Go on, hurry up. Get in the house. And how did it go, dear? Wash your hands, Betsy. Dinner's ready. What's the matter? Seems Mrs. Kendall hurt her ankle on our steps. We may be sued. Sued? Oh, why, nobody does that sort of thing in this neighborhood. Listen, <laughs> this Kendall guy would do anything. You can see he's just a loud mouth, cheap... Th- I, I, I can't stand either one of them. They're oh, everything no, that... Oh, honey. He's your neighbor, Daddy. You said we should love our neighbors, didn't you? Yeah. Betsy, go wash your hands, sir. You said even if they did things you didn't like it... Betsy, uh, don't bother Daddy right now. Go on, Didn't wash you hands. say that, Daddy? Yes, yes, yes. Well, then you should love Mr. Kendall. All right, all right, I love Mr. Kendall. Oh, uh, Mrs. Kendall. Yes, fine, all right, I love Mrs. Kendall, too. There, you see, Daddy loves him. Now, now, go on, wash your hands, Betsy, go on. Right. Boy, now all we need is to have her go running around the neighborhood saying that her daddy loves Mrs. Kendall. <laughs> <laughs> Look, after oh, this, dear. after this, when she has a fight, don't get involved. As I said to begin with, let kids fight their own battles. <laughs> Now, Betsy, eat your dinner, then maybe you can ride to the station when Daddy picks up Grandma. Sure. Oh, Grandma's coming. Mm-hmm. She'll be with you tonight while Mommy and Daddy go to a New Year's party at the Arm Brewsters. Arm Brewsters? Thought we were going to the club. Oh, no, dear. They asked us ages ago, and I just couldn't get out of it. Oh, my gosh. A whole evening with them. Well, look, we'll spend the evening playing charades and all sorts of cute guessing games, and they'll serve that awful concoction they call Pink Punch. But don't you love the Arm Brewsters, Daddy? Oh, yes, of course he does, Betsy. Daddy loves everybody. I know. Somebody doesn't like that darn income tax man. Now, look here, young lady. You watch what you... Ignore it. Ignore it. Ignore it. That's what the book says. This is the difficult age. Mm. Which one isn't? The Couple Next Door is written by Peg Lynch and stars Peg Lynch and Alan Bunce. With Madeline Pierce as Betsy, Charles Mendick as Mr. Kendall, and Dorothy Duckworth as Mrs. Kendall. And is produced by Walter Hart. 
This is Roger Foster inviting you to listen tomorrow to The Couple Next Door. Did you miss your deadline to renew your Medicaid coverage? You can still send your completed annual review form to Healthy Connections Medicaid. You may be assigned to another health plan, but you can ask to come back to First Choice within 60 days of renewed Medicaid eligibility. It's your family. It's your choice. First Choice is the right choice. Renew and choose us. Visit selecthealthofsc.com slash renew to learn more. Okay, round two. Name something that's not boring. A laundry? Ooh, a book club. Computer solitaire, huh? Ah, oh, sorry. We were looking for Chumba Casino. That's right. Chumbacasino.com has over 100 casino-style games. Join today and play for free for your chance to redeem some serious prizes. Chumbacasino.com. No purchase necessary. Forward, by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details.